Hello? Welcome to the Maquillage Makeup Studio. How can I help you? Oh, you have an appointment with us today. Okay, good. Give me one moment. Let me check my schedule. So if you'll just take a seat, we can begin. Okay, so have you um, heard a little bit about um, our services here at the salon? Okay, good. So you actually know somebody who's been here before. Good. Okay, um, I'm just going to explain really quickly um, what we do. And as you know, you're booked for a relaxation session followed by a makeover. And the reason that we do the relaxation session first is actually a new technique. Um, not many places offer um, this type of treatment, but we do. We're one of the first. Um, so the uh, idea is that when you're relaxed, the muscles of your face are tense is easier to apply and it just looks more natural on your face um, when your uh, face is relaxed for the um, application so um, uh, yeah you're right uh, the first person to use this technique was actually Ilsa over at the water drops and yes I know she's so wonderful um, but we uh, found that her technique so effective that we decided to use it here. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing first. And I'm going to help you get relaxed by using this brush. using good tools. There's nothing like the luxurious feel of a well-made brush on your skin. It just, the, uh, you know, anything of lesser quality just doesn't compare. Mm -hmm. You 
you're right. I think that the um, the experience of putting on makeup or getting your makeup done is um, is a big part of it. It's not just about um, it's not just about the products that you'll be using. It just feels so. feel of the bristles on your skin just feels so soft and so exquisite. It just, I don't know, when I'm using these brushes, they just make me feel so pretty, so feminine. <laughs> I know, it sounds kind of silly, but whatever works, right? <laughs> Part of what makes these brushes so soft is that the ends of the hairs are actually, they're not cut. They are, um, this is the natural end of the hair. And they get the shape by placing every single bristle by hand. They don't use machines at all. To make these brushes, every single one of them is handmade. And they're made by a Japanese company called Hakuodo. what we want. You are going to look so gorgeous tonight. Oh, you really are. I'm not just saying that. You must be so excited. stress-free. <laughs> That's important, too. You'll be ready for anything that happens, I'm sure of it. <laughs> I know things have been difficult for you lately. That's part of why you're here. But no, no, things are going to start getting better for you. I have a feeling. <laughs> to start on your makeup. Just give me a moment here. Okay. And let me look at your face very quickly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your skin very well moisturized. You have, like I said, I know I've probably said it a thousand times, you have very beautiful skin. So I don't think that we're going to have to use a moisturizer um, on your skin. Instead, we will go straight to the primer. And it looks like this. Is 
Secrets Ultimate Foundation Primer and what this is going to do is it's just going to sit on top of your skin and it creates kind of a soft focus effect um, there's a lot of silicones in this product and what it does is it like it fills in your pores and I guess it has something to do with the, you know, the way the light is reflected off of the silicone molecules or something. I have no idea, but it kind of, um, it kind of just makes it look sort of blurry and very soft. So it just kind of erases your pores and it's wonderful. Um. You don't have to worry. Um, you said that your skin is not sensitive at all. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I use this primer all the time. And um, as long as I take it off at the end of the day, um, I never have any breakouts or anything. So I, uh, I don't think you'll have any problems. You should be okay. Um, and then... I'm going to apply that with this brush. It's a MAC 190 foundation brush. Nothing fancy. Just a just a simple foundation palettes here um, and I brought two because I wasn't sure um, you know I wasn't sure what your skin undertones would be I know you said you're very fair um, but let me just hold these up here okay yeah okay yeah I think I'm actually going to use the Cinema Secrets palette for you. This palette is a little bit cooler. As I see, um, you have a little bit of a pink undertone to your skin. So we're going to use um, we're going to use this palette as opposed to the Craftopian palette um, because the Craftopian palette is neutral, and I think. Um, I think with your complexion, it'd be a little bit too yellow, and we don't want that. And this is actually, don't be worried, uh, this is actually theater makeup, but it's not going to make you look like a clown or anything. We're only going to apply a very thin layer, and that's because, um, you know, because it's so highly pigmented, you won't need a lot. And, um, it has the same kinds of ingredients as in the primer, so it's just going to make all of those imperfections in your skin. It's just going to smooth them away and looks so beautiful. Um, but since it's a cream foundation, um, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll show you the brush. I'm sorry. I'm going to be applying it with this. This is the MAC 130. This is a stippling brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply the uh, foundation to the white bristles and then it just gets stippled on your face just like this and it's going to create an airbrush effect trust me you're going to look like a movie 
star, you won't believe it. Okay. And since uh, we are working with um, cream foundations, we're going to have to set it with the powder. And uh, I think I mentioned, um, the, I think I mentioned that the foundation is high definition foundation. And this is also a high definition um, powder. So, it's going to blend really well and just look so flawless and beautiful. And um, for the powder application, I'm going to use the MAC 109. And you know, a lot of times people like to use a um, People like to use a large powder puff brush like this, um, but I don't like to do that because when we put on your foundation, we're going to do, um, I showed you, it's a palette, so there are several different colors in the palette that we're going to use for the high points on your face, like your chin, the bridge of your nose, your brow bone, and your cheek cheekbones, the very top of your cheekbones, we're going to use a highlighting powder, and that's for a highlighting foundation, and that's just about one shade lighter than your natural skin tone, and it's just going to bring those features out, um, it's going to make them really pop, like the light is reflecting off of them, um, but then we're going to use a darker shade hollows of your cheeks and underneath your um, lip there too and along the sides of your nose um, and that's going to be a contouring color and then of course for everything that's left over we're just going to use your regular um, powder foundation color or your regular foundation color um, and since we've done all that fine work, um, I don't like to mess it up by using a very big brush and just brushing it all over the face. I like to use a smaller brush for a more controlled application. And we're just going to brush it on in small circles. Okay. because if you use too much cream or too much powder, it's going to look uh, very strange um, and unnatural. So I like to use just a little bit of each for the best look. So that's why um, we use a cream and a powder, Conce or not concealer, um, contour. same token, um, the highlighter that we're going to use is this one right here. Um, this is more of a, uh, it's kind of like, it's shimmery, very fine shimmery powder, so it's not going to, um, the color is not light. I go a little bit. I don't know if you can see that on my hand, but it basically it's going to reflect light. So um, it's not going to serve quite the same purpose as the um, as the cream foundation, because obviously the cream foundation isn't shimmery. It adds um, 
you know, it adds lightness by applying a lighter color to your face. So, um, and then after that, we're going to go um, onto your blush. And I have NARS, um, NARS Orgasm Blush here, the famous blush. Um, and I think, um, I think it's going to look just perfect with your coloring. It, uh, it's flattering, um, for lots of people, but I think it's just going to be gorgeous on you. And it's kind of a, um, as you saw, it's kind of like a shimmery, um, like a shimmery piece. I'm going to be just using, just using the um, Hakuhodo brush that I showed you, that angled cheek brush that we used in the beginning. Okay, and for your eyeshadow, we'll be using this gold palette here. This is Maybelline High Studio, Give Me Gold, and it's kind of, um, I mean, not really, uh, not really bold, but it definitely, when it's, when it's on, it makes a big statement, um, without being too over the top. So I think it's going to look, uh, it's going to look just perfect with your dark hair, um, And I'm going to use a couple different, um, a couple different eye brushes to apply that. I have my 217 blender brush. A 239, um, just like regular powder brush. I want to give you a really bold um, look for your eyes. I want them to really pop. So we're going to give you a bit of a smoky eye effect. Um, and we're going to need the pencil brush to do that. And I'll also be using And of course, um, I'll have to uh, have to apply some eyeliner. I've got this gel eyeliner from Bobbi Brown, and this is Caviar Ink. Is the color, and it's not quite jet black. It's more like a uh, brown black, so it's not going to be too. Um, it's not going to be too overwhelming. here, the MAC 242, that I'll be using to apply your lipstick. And I have a couple different uh, lip products that I'll be using, such as, let's see, two different colors. Um, this is a Sephora lipstick. I don't know the name of it anymore. This is the base lip color. And then a highlight color, this is NYX Iris, um, and that's just going to be applied to the uh, tops of your lips and the full part of the bottom lip. Another highlighter from Ulta, I'm 
use that too. mascara too but that's really it and so if you're ready we can get started right now need one pump. A little bit goes a long way. Okay, just relax for me. And get some on, get some on your forehead there. Good. Cinema Secrets palette again. We're going to use the very lightest color as your highlight. This middle color as your regular foundation color. And the darker color right here is going to be your contour. As you can see, there's not a um, there's not a really huge difference in the uh, in the shades, and we're also going to blend.
Now we're ready for your regular foundation color. And that's just going to go everywhere else. This color has a really going to set all of that with powder. I'm trying to get comfortable, excuse me. don't want too much. If we get too much, it'll look geeky. And that's not what we want. Okay. This is just going to really get into those, the hollows of your cheeks. And just create that beautiful sculpted look. You have a great bone structure though. <laughs> you really don't need it. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
again we're working with one of those um, angled brushes I just, I love them they just create um, the most beautiful lines in my opinion um, it just so neat. Almost feels like velvet. Yeah, you think so too. I know. It's... it's amazing. Okay. same brush that we use for the powder. And that's just gonna go on your brow bone there. And the very your chin. use um, my eyelash curler. Don't worry, I mean, I know it looks, I know it looks scary, but it won't hurt you at all, I promise. Okay, so on the side first. Good, now the other.
And now we're going to use a little bit of primer and that's just going to keep your um, keep your eyeshadow from falling off. It's going to give it a better coverage because it's going to stick. Now keep your eyes closed for just a little bit. Okay. We want the uh, we want the primer to dry. It's very important. Okay. Okay. Good. It looks like it's dry. the 239 I make up the colors always remind me of a sunset and it looks so pretty with your complexion and your hair color and your eye color it's just beautiful okay and um, now we're gonna use this dark brown color and we're gonna really define that outer V and give it a little bit um, it's not going to be like a full on smoky eye but it'll be kind of similar we're going to get a little bit of a little bit of color underneath
really loaded in there. We want, we want some dramatic eyes. really good. And the last step, well, second to last, if I can uh, find the correct brush, the 266. We're just going to um, finish off with a little bit of gel eyeliner. Now, if you wouldn't mind closing your eyes for me. Okay, now we're going to finish off with some mascara. Oh wow, you look so good. Finish it off is um, finish your lips and you'll be good to go. Okay. Take the lip pencil.
some base color of lipstick here. to apply the highlight just to the fullest part of your lip. On the bottom and on the top. Okay. so amazing. You should you should feel really confident and really wonderful tonight. Um, you just, I don't know, I'm just so happy for you. Um, you deserve um, every good thing that's coming your way today. Um, I hope this has been a relaxing experience for you and I hope that you will come back and um, recommend our salon um, to others. Thank you. Thank you. It was great seeing you too. Have a nice night.